We know for sure that we don't just deserve to survive, we deserve to thrive. And that means we need justice. And as Dr. Cornell West says, justice is what love looks like in public. Let's go make sure that love is living out loud in public. Then we have to understand that the roots of modern policing are deeply entangled with slave patrols and the history there. That means that America has always prioritized protecting property over black lives, even and especially when black lives were that very property. And when you understand the roots of the tree, you understand the fruits of the tree. So perhaps if elected officials invested the same amount of resources and urgency in protecting black lives in the first place, we would not be here. Often when we press for policy change. We get told that it's too expensive and that it will take too long. Meanwhile, the police response is costing taxpayers millions of additional dollars and the tanks were rolled out far faster than policy change ever has been. So fixing the conditions, the underlying conditions here, that is what would actually end the protests. Banning chokeholds and strangleholds, requiring de-escalation uh, first, requiring a warning uh, before pulling out a weapon, exhausting all alternatives for those actions, um, a duty of other officers to intervene, so officers can just stand there and watch injustice happen, banning shooting at moving vehicles, we know that keeps peace and everyday citizens safe, establishing a use of force beyond, and requiring all force to be reported. And I want to be really clear, together those eight things can reduce police violence by upward 70 percent. Because we know that these things can happen immediately without any executive order or act of Congress, all we need is a mayor to have the political will and courage to stand up and say, those eight can't wait and I will go and change the use of the force standard tonight, let alone tomorrow. So do that now and then continue to work with your community because we will continue to keep up the pressure, I can promise you that, to make sure that we are getting to those comprehensive public safety uh, uh, solutions that are community-based and community-oriented and far beyond anything that we're experiencing right now. These don't stand in competition with imagination. These are a necessary step immediately to keep people safe 